From the AAA Travel Alcove, here's Margaret Larson. The special ingredient that can take your weekend from just okay to fantastic is my friend and Art Zone host Nancy Guppy because she knows all about places to go and things to do. Well, indeed, I hope I do. Yeah, That's well, no way. pressure now. No pressure at all. Okay, so let's start out with um, the Fry Art Museum. There's a terrific exhibit. It's called Ballast, and it's by a really great local poet. His name is mm -hmm. Quentin Baker. So the exhibit is based on there a he is. story. Yeah, there he is, a very handsome man. A story that I was not familiar with. Um, it's the 1841 slave revolt aboard uh, the ship called the Creole. This was an American slave ship that was uh, rerouted to Nassau and the Bahamas, which was a British colony. At that point, Britain was, um, uh, had abolished slavery. Right. So this, this ship, all the people on it, they were being transported as slaves. Um, when they got off in Nassau, they were essentially free. They're no longer uh, legal property, let's put it that way. So the exhibit features new poems that Quentin has written uh, in response to this event. Um, and they're kind of uh, uh, projected on hanging screens in the gallery. Wow. And then the gallery walls are covered by these blown up um, uh, the Senate, what are they called, the historical Senate documents of this, of the Creole uh, event. Wow. And then he's done this thing, it's a poetic technique called erasure, and he, he blacks out words and sentences and essentially makes new poems out of the, out of the words that aren't blacked out. Very powerful exhibit. I highly recommend people that check it out. Incredible. And it runs through the uh, Sunday, the uh, February 3rd at the Fry, which is always free. The Fry yes, is always, always free, free. And that gives you some time to. Yeah, a little bit of time to see it. Okay, one of my favorite local dance companies is Wim Wim. And the founder and artistic director, Olivier Weavers, has put together a really terrific show. It's called Three by Three, and it features three new works by three choreographers uh, Olivier himself and um, Zoe Schofield and Yin Yu, a Chinese choreographer. And they are making their win 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 debuts as choreographers. So modern dance, as we've talked about before, can be baffling. Uh, some people hate it because they don't feel like they're getting it, right? Right. Now, I don't hate it, but I often feel like I don't you're like, truly what? understand. Right. And the thing of it is, there isn't always something to understand. So it's not something to get. That said, I think there is good modern dance and not as good modern dance. And in this case, Wim Wim is good modern dance. The seven dancers in the company are top notch. And I think Wim Wim, they do very exciting and dynamic uh, mm -hmm. performances, i.e. they're fun to watch. Just watch it. Just watch just it. And it. Yeah, just kind of take it in and just kind of get with the movement. And kinda, yeah, exactly. Just let it take you somewhere, but don't try to figure it out necessarily. Okay. What dates for this? So January 18th, which opens Friday. Yeah. And soon. for two weekends at the Cornish Playhouse uh, on the Seattle Center All right. campus. All and right. Something that I really like. I love talking about this. This is the 14th edition of the Children's Film Festival. It's returning to the Northwest Film Forum. Uh, the uh, uh, theme this year is Dream the Future. 146 uh, films, both features and shorts, from 39 countries, going to be screened over a two plus week period, along with all sorts of uh, special events. So, a few highlights. Uh, the original Muppet movie came out in 1979, the classic. Really? Yes, and that's the opening night film. Oh my gosh. That's do you a remember long that? time ago. Yeah, of course well, I do. Of yes. course. Yeah, that's like, I know it is a long time right. ago. What is it, 30 years? It's, oh, it's good grief. A I can't than that. believe it. <laughs> um, and so before the screening of that, there's going to be a pizza party and a puppet making workshop with Clyde uh, awesome. Peterson, a great local artist. There's going to be uh, the pancake breakfast and short film Smorgasbord is happening. Count me in. And for, exactly. Muppets and pancakes. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. I'm all in. Totally in. And then there's uh, like uh, filmmaking workshops, like a, a virtual filmmaking and um, a 360 filmmaking that kids will be able to make movies and then screen right. them at the end of the festival. And they are so tech savvy anyway oh, that just totally. exposing them now to 360 and some of these other things is <laughs> they're such be, a good They're going to be the Steven Spielbergs, right? We hope. So, we that, hope. so that hope, uh, Children's Film Fest opens January 24th at the Northwest Film Forum. All righty. A great consignment clothing store in Madrona is called Jewels, owned by Julie Moberly. Um, Julie does a number of uh, kind of special events. Sometimes it's just drop by Friday afternoon for a glass of Prosecco. Uh, but in this How case, have I missed this? I know. So I'm, I'll How let you, have I missed I'm this? I'm going to have to give you a little text when that's happening. <laughs> Please. Um, but she's got a, a really interesting event that caught my eye. It's called a Sashiko mending class. I didn't never, I didn't know what sashiko is. So sashiko is a form of embroidery. Mm -hmm. Apparently it always uses using one line of thread, which means apparently you don't break it. I'm not a sewer, so I don't really know these things. But it's a method for mending fabric, particularly denim, and it's done in an artful and interesting wow. way. So you can see these really beautiful um, old shorts or old jeans made really cool. Erin um, Egenberg is the teacher. Apparently her sashiko mending classes sell out in Bellingham, which of course they do because that's hippie world, well, right? It's hippieville. And there is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And so this is the first time that she'll be teaching it uh, here at 
jewels that's in Seattle. Cool. And that's happening this Sunday, the 20th, uh, 3 to 5, limited space. And so how to uh, sign up is on the New Day website. Okay, so, very for that. good. Finally, one of my very favorite local bands <laughs> is Country Lips. Is and it a country band? It is. Okay, but they, I was saying to Heidi earlier, um, um, no, um, to, who was I saying it to earlier? Somebody, you over there, know. you. Um, so <laughs> we're, uh, I'm spacing out. <laughs> Thank um, you were speaking to a member of our staff. I was speaking to the member of the staff. Um, so they play the kind of um, country music uh, that, that is good. It's raucous. It gets people mm -hmm. on the feet. It's fun to listen to. It's fun to dance to. They are an eight-piece band, an excellent. All eight are great musicians, and they're celebrating their 10-year anniversary with a blowout show at the Tractor Tavern in all Ballard. Right. And that's on Saturday, the uh, 16th of February, a few weeks away. But, um, you know, it's going to get here really quick. Go so I want you well, to hang on for a second. Oh. Let's let us listen. Oh, like, let, sound up on this. Yeah. yeah. A thousand days in that summer. They've got a fiddle and you can two-step to it. Exactly. What else what, do you need? Exactly. What, what else, else do you need? Well, probably a cerveza. <laughs> maybe, and maybe, uh, yeah, exactly. And then and then a beer. Then right. you're set. And, and some corn. Um, but they are just an outstanding band. Cool. And so this is, like I said, on the 16th of uh, February at the Tractor. And I um, want to mark your calendar for that. That is so, awesome. Thank yep. you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. Appreciate it. Yep. You can see Art Zone with Nancy Guppy. Friday nights at 8 on the Seattle Channel. We've linked more information online, including how to stream the past episodes. More New Day after this.